Hello everybody, and today I think I found the greatest phone of our time. The phone that will destroy and annihilate not only Apple, but Samsung as well. And this phone is the phone that will change many lives and solve a lot of the world's problems. And you know what phone it is today? The all new, I'm going to do it solely, the all new track phone. LG Optimus Fuel Android Smartphone SpongeBob Edition. Now you might be wondering what does this phone do differently than many other Android phones? To be honest, it doesn't. But here's the thing. This is the SpongeBob edition of it and it's four ages, seven and up. In fact, it even says right here, four ages. I'm even gonna hold up the camera. Four ages, seven and up. And it has kids branding all over it, something most Android phones don't. It even advertises on the corner right here. One year of parental control service, a $34 value. Now the phone comes with, according to the packaging, not only does it come with the phone, of course, but it also comes with an exclusive code to download free games, episodes, and apps of SpongeBob and free Spongebob earbuds. So if you're over the age of, like, let's just say seven, and you purchase this phone, like, let's just say it's a basic smartphone, too bad you get all the Spongebob stuff you have to give away to the local Goodwill. But hey, it is the Spongebob edition, even has the Spongebob branding on the sides. And on the other side right here, it has it too. And of course, it comes with no contracts, no bills, no credit check, no credit card. It has all that stuff written on it. Now, of course, why would you get your little kid, like, let's just say, one of these flip phones or bar phones, which you can get for literally nothing? I mean, this bar phone's only $20 on Amazon. It's GSM, quad band, no contract, put your SIM in, and it works. I've actually got this in my phone right now. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you this phone. Now, the LG Optimus Fuel uses the CDMA Verizon network, even though it says track phone on it, as track phone's actually an MVNO, so they pretty much use other people's networks. But either way, it's time for me to show you this amazing track phone smartphone. This phone that, like I said, could change the world by giving your kids lots and lots of consumerism because you see this is a smartphone this isn't just any normal phone I mean unlike this this phone that you can get for a few dollars with just calls can make texts by pushing all the number keys this phone on the other hand is designed to give your kid access into the internet and YouTube and whatever apps your kid downloads including Yik Yak or uh, Skype or um, other messenger apps, whatever messenger apps are popular these days, and Twitter, and Facebook, and all that stuff. Because, you know, you totally want your kid doing all those, right? So let's take a look at the phone itself. Now, sadly, the phone looks just like, you know, looks just like any other LG Optimus Feel or phone. But it's a SpongeBob edition, so it comes with all this stuff. And of course, did I mention that, that you know, it comes with, like, a memory card with it too, and some other stuff too, so let's take a look at what's inside the packaging, because, you know, what's the point at staring at this box for this amazing game changer phone? I mean, what's the point of that? Let's open it up. Now, the box is supposed to be easy to open, but... Seems like they've gone with the packaging that's designed to piss you off as you have to rip the whole box open. So let's rip the packaging open and of course there's some activation stuff which I'm not going to show on camera. Let's rip this open first. Since I can't return it anyway even if it's broken. So, right here, there's a card about activating the phone. And it says to start here, it says how to activate your phone and stuff, you know, the usual stuff. And I'm going to throw this to the side. What it also comes with, however, is some SpongeBob stuff. 
and it has right here a SpongeBob code which allows you to access the SpongeBob site and get all this cool content. And of course you have to go to this website and enter it in and choose it. So here you can get this content. And of course it also comes with a thing called NQ Family Guardian which lets you protect your kids' smartphone from horrible websites like Pornhub or E621 or 4chan and it also allows you to protect your kid from downloading apps that might be terrible such as a terminal I mean you don't want your kid typing in ping dash f 192.168.1.1 I mean that would be so horrible if he did that wouldn't it or other terrible apps too such as Tor or Yik Yak or more so this is an app that's supposed to protect your kid from all that evil content. Or, or of course, it also protects your kid from downloading stuff such as um, crappy Minecraft Let's Plays. I mean, that would be horrible if he went to those, to those terrible Let's Plays. Here's the guy that says what services you get with your phone. And of course, now, here's the packaging. Which says stuff about Google Play and uh, it says that even download a free track phone app so you can check your balances and of course here's the other side of the packaging so let's rip this phone open and take a look at what's inside now all you have to do is you gotta peel these and of course you got it says do not peel until activation but who cares Let's open this up anyway, because why not? And of course, this is kind of hard to open. But I'm doing it anyway. So inside, you have the battery which is, you know, an L, just a normal LG battery. The date says 2004, uh, July, I think. So this has been seen here a while. Has a back battery cover, which is, you know, the normal LG one. LG 34C quick start guide. So it says how to do the basics, like call and text. Charger, which pretty much standard. I don't know what the voltage on it is because I can't see because it's blocked by the sticker. Uh, power cable, of course. And of course, the SpongeBob earbuds we said we get on the packaging. Nice. I mean, these are nice. They look like they have SpongeBob stuff tapped to them, taped to them, I guess. So now, no matter your age, you can look like an unfunny 13-year-old kid. I mean, because, you know, SpongeBob's a pretty dumb show anyways. So now you can walk around in public looking like a very unfunny kid. I mean, isn't that what you totally want? You totally want to look like an unfunny kid, right? So let's take a look at the phone itself. And it feels kind of heavy-ish. I love how the back cover of it's all metal though and stuff. And here it is. The LG 34C. This phone right here does not have very good specs but I think it might have a flash at least. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I thought that was one, but it doesn't seem to have a flash. So let's put the battery in this phone and start it up and get the SpongeBob experience. Might as well note this though, it did come with a free 4 gig micro SDHC, making it worth the purchase. I'll go ahead and put this aside because maybe I can use this in a digital camera or something. So let's turn it on. The screen's pretty low resolution, but it was only a $10 phone anyways. I really love this LED on the bottom though. It actually changes colors. I mean, I'm a big fan of those LEDs, especially considering how it changes colors just like that. English, next. Come on!
Come on. Connect. Oh my. Tapping it. It's not doing anything. What a bug. Oh, now it does something. Now I'll enter the password in. And I've connected to the Wi Fi. Does not seem to support 5 gigahertz Wi Fi though. And the screen, like I said, is pretty low quality. I mean, I'll hit no. Just, I'll add a Google account real soon. So I've already set the name info in, and as you can tell, this is an LG customized draw. I mean, it, it does feel like the LG customization. However, the specs on this seem to be pretty low, especially for, I mean, it even has the LG skin like I would see on other LG phones, but the specs on this are pretty low. However, it does keep the very same LG look and feel you've come to expect from other LG phones. And it has no SpongeBob stuff whatsoever. And what I'm going to do is software info. Uh, it's not this. Let's see if this supports ART. Um, about phone, developer options. It does, in fact, support ART. So I'm going to change it to that now because I know for a fact if you change it to ART, you get better performance out of your phone. So I'm going to do that right now, and I'm going to see how the uh, perf the phone performs. So right here, this is the phone, and I've installed like two or three apps. But most of these apps came with the phone. For example, messaging. And as you can tell, this phone is currently updating the apps that come with it. But it's running really sluggish thanks to this. And in fact, this phone seems to run up, even though I've turned on ART, this phone's actually running a bit sluggish. Not something you want if you're trying to write a text message or make a call. And of course, you get the other basics, such as email, a calendar, and an alarm clock. But of course, you also get YouTube and the Google Play Store, which allow you to do various things. For example, let's take a look at the Play Store in general. The Play Store lets you get all these apps, I'm guessing. Now, the Google Play Store has a variety of games for kids to play. For example, NBA, Minecraft board games, Five Nights at Freddy's, Five Nights at Freddy's 3, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Dead Space, The Sims 3, Goat Simulator, GTA San Andreas, Prison Life RPG, yeah, totally the game you want to play with your kids, Plants vs. Zombies, a bunch of Cartoon Network stuff, PS1 Emulator, GTA Vice City, Look at all these games, man. I mean, you totally want your kids playing GTA, right? I mean, this is a perfect device for the modern generation of kids who, like, just want, like, whose parents just, like, want to raise them in front of the cell phone. Oh, look, let me, let me look for some apps. Let me just, I mean, some stuff. Ah. I can listen to all the Linkin Park albums too. I mean, look, top songs in the end, numb, bleed it out, burn it down. What I've done, yeah, I mean, you know, you can even get like all their albums, man. Like, this is all the stuff you want for your kids, all the Linkin Park albums. I mean, look at this. Look at all the Linkin Park stuff, man. Check it out, it's, it's just Linkin Park everywhere. Perfect if you're like the target demographic of Spongebob after all. And it even comes with YouTube which lets you look up videos such as YouTube Poop, um, uh, YouTube Poop Spongebob Smokes Weed, YouTube Poop Spongebob Ghost McDonald's, 
YouTube poop, SpongeBob gets high, and again I'm getting some error message already saying that Google Play services and is not supported by my device. And YouTube quits. Wow, what a buggy ass piece of shit phone. An error occurred. This shit's bugging out fast. Uh, find me. Oh, oh, finally loads after like three times. But at least I can get all my popular music videos. My latest sports videos. And I'm getting a Google, like, warning me that this app I use to root my phone is trying to hack me. Oh boy, no shit, Google. Great job, Google. I'll probably delete it later, but, but it's kind of funny that, that, you know, Google does this stuff. Oh no, this app you download. But it's kind of funny that Google does this stuff. Oh no, this app you download might wreck your phone. No crap, it's a rooting app. But hey, I got my phone rooted, so is there any really problem with that? I mean, you pretty much have to root your phone if you want to, like, install apps to the SD card, which comes with the phone, usually. So, right here, I've got... I don't know. I find it weird how it said Google Play Services was not supported by this phone. Huh, that was a weird bug. But hey, it does have a browser which lets me browse all the coolest websites for kids like buythisnewproduct.com. I mean, totally a kid-friendly site you want your kid going on because you want your kids to buy all sorts of crap, especially because you got the SpongeBob edition. So yeah, this right here is a not so perfect device for a kid. I mean, it's pretty laggy. It seems kind of slowish, especially when it's trying to do all the updates. And it's not really that great of a phone. You know, by the way, did I mention? Let me let me just show you the specs of this real quick. Did I mention this has like a more simplified version of the old LG interface that you'll find on many other LG phones? Okay, so let's go to CPU Z. There's some lag opening it up. CPU load. I'm doing nothing and there's a 71 there's an 89% load already. Look at this unoptimized piece of crap phone. Look at this shit. The phone's just bouncing all over the place with CPU load and I'm not even doing anything. I'm serious, I'm not doing anything. And the, and the thing's bouncing all over the place, the CPU usage. And of course, 1.76 gigs of storage. You don't get much storage, the screen resolution's garbage. Specs on this are garbage too. That's all that needs to be said, really. So on all this phones, there's a reason they're marketing this phone for kids. It's a piece of crap. It really is a piece of crap phone. It's just a cheap... $10 Android phone, and that's really the only good thing I can say about it. And even then, like, the ZTE Zener seems to have better performance than this phone. And that's all I can really, I mean, better performance and a more stock Android build, and that's all I can really say about this. This phone's pretty garbage, don't buy it. Especially not if you're a parent. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.